so lovely to have you here. So lovely to be here. <laughs> so this is very exciting. You will be starting January 3rd in Congress. You, however, also very impressive in 2016, uh, Teacher of the Year. And you met President Obama. Oh, yeah. And you... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> this is, I'm glad. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh... So... I do want to, we brought a clip and I, I, two years later, it seems like you still are processing that you met President Obama. Let's just show everyone how you reacted then. It is now my privilege. I'm sorry, don't kick me out. cares about the example she sets as much as the exams that she scores. What, uh... <laughs> All right, you, you just need to settle down. <laughs> so, you have to tell me... You know, <laughs> dude, when you left there in 2016, did you already have in your head that you wanted to come back, that you wanted to run for office? I had in my head they're never letting me back in here. Yeah. <laughs> So but what no. steps led to you deciding to, to make a run for this? Well, 2016 was a really tricky year. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> a lot happened. And um, I'm a high school history teacher. I had really been teaching kids to get involved in their communities, to be a part of the solution. And it felt like that narrative was slipping away, that people weren't conducting themselves in a way that was solution driven, so. So now you're in DC and it is freshman orientation. Yeah. And there are a lot of freshmen <laughs> there this year, a lot of new uh, uh, Congress people in DC. As a teacher, does it feel like actual <laughs> orientation that you would have for students? Absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely not. First of all, children conduct themselves so much more responsibly than adults. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yes. Um, young people are open to just hearing about ideas that are different from theirs, learning about other people. And, of course, you have a, an adult in the room who says, you know, these are parameters by which we be behave. All bets are off in D.C. Yeah. It's, it's a lot different. Orientation was a lot different. I also, you know, anyone, uh, when Republicans come in to serve, when Democrats come in to serve, when you are... Freshmen, uh, Congress people, a lot of people have run on the idea that Congress is dysfunctional. This is, I would say, <laughs> the one thing that's nonpartisan is everybody says what's currently there is a mess. Have you found it dysfunctional already? Well, I mean, I don't want to criticize anyone because, of course, they have a system by which they operate. But, I mean, you go in, everything is separated by Republican and Democrat. Um, even our first vote, literally, it took us about two hours to vote. You picked up a paper on one side of the room, you checked a box, you took it to the other side of the room, and I'm sitting there like, you know there's an app for that. Like, <laughs> yeah. We could have done this in five minutes. Yeah. And I'm just watching it because you hear it, and I'm like, oh my God, this is real. Yeah. Yeah. So is it, does, I mean, I'm obviously here. we it's know it's- a good thing we're here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it just seems like so, I mean, so there are just so many inefficiencies, right? Not even about politics, right. just people doing things in a slow, stupid way. <laughs> what he said. I said it. I said <laughs> <Yes>. it. Um. <laughs> well, I think, and a lot of it is just this is how we've always done it. Mm -hmm. And in my mind, I'm thinking, but is it a rule? Can we change it? Yeah. Can we do it different? 